In the dim light of dawn, as the world awakens from its slumber, we stand poised at the threshold of a new day. In these sacred moments, when the tendrils of night still linger and the promise of daybreak looms on the horizon, we are presented with an opportunity, an opportunity to shape our destiny, to mold our character and to fortify our souls. As disciples of an ancient wisdom, we heed the call of Stoicism, a philosophy that beckons us to embrace the virtues of self-mastery and resilience. In the crucible of each morning, we forge the foundation upon which our day shall unfold. Here, in the crucible of dawn, lie the seven sacred rites that we, as students of Stoicism, must undertake without fail. First, let us turn our gaze inward to the sanctum of our minds. In the hushed chambers of introspection, we engage in the practice of mindfulness. We cultivate an awareness of the present moment, unshackling ourselves from the burdens of yesterday and the anxieties of tomorrow. As Marcus Aurelius, the sage emperor, once declared, dwell on the beauty of life, watch the stars, and see yourself running with them. With our minds thus attuned, we proceed to the second rite, a ritual of gratitude. In the quiet solitude of morning, we offer our silent thanks for the blessings that grace our lives. From the breath that fills our lungs to the sun that bathes the earth in golden light, we acknowledge the abundance that surrounds us. Seneca, the Stoic sage, reminds us, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Having kindled the flames of gratitude within our hearts, we embark upon the third rite, a ritual of resilience. We steel ourselves against the adversities that may lie ahead, drawing strength from the wellspring of our inner fortitude. Like Epictetus, the enslaved philosopher, we remind ourselves that it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. As the morning unfolds, we encounter the fourth rite, a ritual of reflection. In the mirror of self-examination, we confront our flaws and imperfections with unwavering honesty. We embrace the stoic injunction to know thyself, recognizing that true wisdom begins with self-awareness. With introspection as our guide, we proceed to the fifth rite, a ritual of intentionality. We set forth our intentions for the day, aligning our actions with our highest ideals and values. In the words of Epictetus, first say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. As the shadows lengthen and the day unfolds, we encounter the sixth rite, a ritual of resilience. In the face of adversity and temptation, we remain steadfast in our commitment to virtue. Like the ancient Stoics before us, we draw strength from the knowledge that our character is our most precious possession. Finally, as the sun reaches its zenith and the day begins to wane, we embrace the seventh rite, a ritual of reflection. In the quietude of evening, we review the events of the day with a discerning eye. We celebrate our victories with humility and learn from our failures with grace. In these seven sacred rites, we find the path to inner peace and fulfillment. We are not slaves to the whims of fate, but masters of our own destiny. Through the practice of Stoicism, we cultivate the virtues of wisdom, courage, and resilience, forging a life of meaning and purpose. So let us rise with the dawn, my fellow seekers of truth. Let us embrace the challenges that lie ahead with courage and conviction. For in the crucible of each morning, we find the opportunity to transform ourselves and the world around us. As the shadows lengthen and the world succumbs to the embrace of night, we, disciples of the ancient Stoics, stand at the threshold of introspection. In these sacred hours before slumber claims us, we embark upon a journey of self-discovery and fortitude, a journey guided by the wisdom of ages past. In the fading light of dusk, let us commence our nightly ritual, a sequence of seven solemn rites that will fortify our souls and cleanse our spirits. First, we retreat to the sanctuary of solitude, where the cacophony of the world fades into silence. In the stillness of our chambers, we engage in the practice of reflection, casting a discerning eye upon the events of the day. 
like the Stoic sage Epictetus, we remind ourselves, he is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. With the burdens of the day thus lifted from our shoulders, we proceed to the second rite, a ritual of release. We relinquish our attachments to the material world, recognizing that true freedom lies not in the accumulation of possessions, but in the mastery of our desires. Seneca, the Stoic philosopher, admonishes us, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Having unburdened ourselves of worldly cares, we turn our attention inward to the labyrinth of the mind. In the third rite, we engage in the practice of mindfulness, cultivating an awareness of the present moment. Like Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher emperor, we remind ourselves, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. With our minds thus attuned, we confront the fourth rite, a ritual of resolution. We review our actions and intentions with unwavering honesty, acknowledging our flaws and imperfections without succumbing to despair. As Epictetus teaches us, if you wish to be a writer, write. As the hour grows late and the stars illuminate the night sky, we encounter the fifth rite, a ritual of resilience. We steel ourselves against the onslaught of negative emotions, cultivating a spirit of equanimity in the face of adversity. Seneca, the Stoic sage, reminds us, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. In the penultimate rite, we engage in the practice of gratitude, offering silent thanks for the blessings that grace our lives. From the breath that fills our lungs to the stars that adorn the heavens, we acknowledge the abundance that surrounds us. As Marcus Aurelius counsels us, when you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Finally, as the hour of rest draws near and the world fades into darkness, we embrace the seventh rite, a ritual of renewal. We surrender ourselves to the embrace of sleep, trusting in the wisdom of the universe to guide us through the night. Like the Stoic philosopher Seneca, we declare, we should every night call ourselves to an account. What infirmity have I mastered today? What passions opposed? What temptation resisted? What virtue acquired? In these seven sacred rites, we find solace and strength amidst the tumult of existence. We are not slaves to our emotions, but masters of our fate. Through the practice of Stoicism, we cultivate the virtues of wisdom, courage, and resilience, forging a life of meaning and purpose. So let us retire to our chambers, my fellow seekers of truth. Let us bid farewell to the cares of the day and embrace the tranquility of the night. For in the crucible of each night, we find the opportunity to cleanse our souls and renew our spirits.